Hello everyone, my name is Alexa, a pharmacist here at Hawthorne Pharmacy. Yesterday we discussed the symptoms of Parkinson's and today we're going to look at how those symptoms are used to diagnose Parkinson's. We will also be discussing the stages of Parkinson's disease in this video. To be diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, a person must have two of the four main symptoms for a period of time. These symptoms include shaking or tremor, the bradykinesia, which is the slowness of movement, stiffness of the arms, legs, or trunk, or have postural instability. So now for the staging system. The staging system ranges from stage one to stage five. So from stage one, this is your initial stage where you begin to have some mild symptoms, but they do not interfere with your daily activities. During this stage, a person may have a tremor that occurs on just one side of the body. You will also notice changes in posture, walking, and facial expressions in this stage. Stage two is when your symptoms begin to worsen and begin to affect both sides of the body. During this stage, daily tasks become more difficult and walking issues and poor, poor posture begin to develop. Stage three is the hallmark symptoms for this stage are a loss of balance, which makes falls more common and slowness of movement. A person can still be fully independent in this stage, but symptoms begin to impair daily activities such as eating and getting dressed. During stage four, the symptoms are severe and the person is usually unable to live alone. They will need help with all of the daily activities because the symptoms have gotten so bad. And then stage five is a very advanced and debilitating stage. Usually at this stage, it's impossible for a person to stand, so they are either bedridden or wheelchair bound, and they will need around-the-clock care. Come back tomorrow to learn more about the treatment options for Parkinson's disease. 